Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we're going to look at here in this video is all of the comments that you all left on my Unify Dream Router out of box setup. And we're going to talk a little bit about these and run down these real quick before we get to the rest of the videos. All right. So comment number one from Patrick Harris. I'm enjoying mine. I think it's a good introduction to the Unify software, but yeah, it'd be nice to get something twice the price and more powerful. So yes, the UDR has half of the cores and it runs more software than the UDM. I totally agree with that. But for $199 USD, it does a lot. I don't know what you all expect for $199 USD. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi 6. It's got a four-port switch. It does jumbo frames, VLANs, all the security. It's got uh, the, the WAN port by itself. It's got the SD card slot. It'll run a phone system. It'll run a, um, a uh, you know, the Connect system, or not Connect, but the Unify Access system. It'll run DNVR. I'm trying to figure out how much more you want to ring out of this for 199 bucks, And that's not meant for you, Patrick. That's just kind of a... A general statement. All right. Uh, the next comment says, yes, I got the same sluggish interface on mine. Definitely give yourself a bit of time to configure it. Uh, reboot time is very annoying, to be honest. 750 megabits on my iPerf test. But come on, guys, this device, this device is perfect for my parents and works fine for them. Yeah, you can manage it remotely. You get all those advantages for $199. Robert Coleman says, I don't think you can use more than two applications at a time, i.e. network and protect on the UDR. And that is correct. And we did cover that in the video. Uh, Rich says, Willie, I really want one of these to replace my dream machine. I want to run this with a doorbell and a G3 instant. So we are going to run a doorbell and a G3 instant. Um, we're actually going to run uh, the G4 instant as well. So that video is coming very soon. Uh, Brad says, who is your ISP and what modem do you use? Does Ubiquiti have a device with a built-in modem? So my ISP, according to uh, this, is i3 broadband. And uh, it is a surfboard Doxis 3 or 3.1 uh, cable modem that lets me get gigabit internet. Um, Ubiquiti does not have a, um, a device with a built-in cable modem. John says, I've had mine now for almost one month and I'm loving it. Just don't like how there's no legacy mode and you can not install VoIP yet via settings. Need to be installed via shell, uh, but just don't understand yet how to do that. It does show up uh, for installation, so we're going to have to do a video on that as well and get to the bottom of what John might be talking about with installing that uh, from the CLI. Jason says, coffee in hand, Willie, on my monitor. Perfect combo for my Monday morning. Hey, Willie's at 75,000, and I am. That's awesome. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done it. Go down. Subscribe. Whoop, whoop. All right, Pedro says, when I saw 200 USD, I thought it was a great product. Then I understand why it was so cheap. Poor thing cannot even route one gig. This is for homes with less than 500 meg of internet connections or with gigabit. Um, you know, it depends. Are you going to utilize gigabit all the time? I would challenge all of you that have gigabit internet to do an actual traffic study and see um, if you get, if you're running gigabit sustained out to the internet all the time, let me know about that. And if you want to know how to run a traffic study, let me know. Cause I'll show you. All right. Dick says, wonder if we can restore a backup from a USG cloud key environment. We have a lot of older residential installs still running cloud keys. This would be nice upgrade, but I don't want to have to reconfigure everything. All right. So you have a topic for an upcoming video. Can we do a restore like we can with everything else? We're going to find out. The next comment says, can the UDR do dual WAN? No. All right. Martin asked, does it do VLAN isolation? Yes. Um, Online Now says it's slow. My UDM, UDM Pro get about 900 megahertz, 900 megabits. You got to remember this has half the processor in it. It is not really way underpowered. You have to look at the price point of this thing. If you would have paid the same price for this that you paid for the UDM Pro, I can understand you being you know, concerned, upset, whatever. This is 199 USD plus shipping. So it uh, looks like Michael is going to have one uh, for sale. So 
reach out to Michael. He says his UDR is going on eBay. Um, and then there's a lot of things that were going on when I filmed that video. So when we do the next throughput video, uh, I'm actually going to have my camera behind watching the screen because my laptop's getting a few years old and uh, recording a video like this and doing the speed test, it you could definitely see there were uh, some issues there. And so that is it. Those are the comments. Let me know what else you want to know about the UDR because we are going to continue doing videos on this, but I've also got the UDM Pro SE, the UDM Pro and the UDM. So we're going to do all these videos. I'm going to do a, you know, a comparison, uh, what we should buy and install where. But let me know down in the comments what you, uh, you know, what you want to know. And, you know, if you haven't done it yet, go down and click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And if you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, click uh, contact us, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you want to support the channel by using all of our clearly marked affiliate links, they don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks to the channel. We also have a Patreon link down there and a lot of other miscellaneous links. So once again, like I said, if you've got any questions, let me know. I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.